Hey guys, let's talk about the world's favorite Bible verse. Got a minute? I can tell you that most people in the world know the scripture, don't judge lest ye be judged. In fact, I would even say that more people know that scripture than they know John 3.16. And it's a really important scripture. The whole context says this. Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Jesus goes on to say, why do you look at this speck in your brother's eye whenever there's a log or a plank in your own? First, pull out your plank and then you'll be able to see clearly in order to help your brother pull out the speck in his eye. And it's funny because there could only be a speck, but whenever it's so close to your eye, it would look like a plank. It would block so much of your vision. Whenever I think about this scripture, I think about an accidental street race I got into. You might be like, how in the world did you get in an accidental street race? My First car was a 1995 Pontiac Firebird. I loved that car. We just so happened to come across it, got a great deal on it. And I pulled up to a light next to a Mustang and the guy just looks over and he looks at me and he goes, and you know, like this is a common greeting for at least everyone that I'm around. You just kind of like make eye contact and hey, what's up? And so my natural reaction was just like, hey, he began to rev up his engine because I just entered a street race. He is also the one that made a judgment based upon what he saw me do, not knowing my heart behind it. My heart wasn't to enter a street race, you know? My heart was, hey, how's it going? I acknowledge that you exist. So we look at a lot of people and we make judgments based upon physical characteristics or things that we can see, touch, you know, and be able to conceptualize, but we don't see the heart behind what it is that they do. So my question is, does that make us a good judge of character? Is that the way that you would want to be judged? By looking at the exterior of what you do, not having the heart knowledge of, or the understanding of what it is that you're trying to accomplish. So are you judging other people? And if someone would use the same judgment that you're using in the same way, would they be able to find you not guilty? And because this is a hot button topic, we're gonna revisit this at some point in time, but right now it should really be about us. Let's take this judgment scripture and let's instead flip that and look at ourselves because how can we be of any use to anyone else if we have our own, own planks in our eyes and planks in the way that we make judgments. Thank you guys for taking a minute.